The fuck is up? You already know what the fuck time it is. It's another episode of the Goddamn Nasty Sports Update. Today, we are sponsored, yet yeah, unsponsored by Crush Groove. Because I got just said women that offer me favors. My dick is a thousand. Lipstick flavors. And that's word to run DMC. Let's get into a few motherfucking topics. The Broncos trade for Teddy Bridgewater for a six-round draft pick. I don't know what the fuck is going on in the NFL right now. I mean, every day is something new. I think that motherfucking the NFL that we're about to see this next year is going to have packed stadiums. Let's get past that. It's going to be a ruckus. But niggas is finna be sweet, bro. It ain't finna be like how it usually is with some teams trash and other teams not. It's going to be, you know, maybe four or five teams that really can't get over the hump. But it's going to be some niggas that's out there ready to motherfucking play. I mean, let's look at this. Teddy Bridgewater, uh, last year signed a three-year deal for $63 million. Um, If he played for the, for two years, he was he was guaranteed his contract. But let's see, after one year, pedestrian season, didn't have Christian McCaffrey pretty much the whole year. I think he went down first game. Uh, Bridgewater threw for 3,733 yards, 15 TDs, and 11 picks. In 15 games. I mean, nothing to write home about. Pretty terrible season. But if you got your best best offensive weapon on the bench the entire season, you kind of don't get a motherfucking uh, a, a, a true grasp of what could have been in Carolina. But we also see that Carolina's doing a lot of transitioning and shit. What I don't understand is, is how you motherfucking sign somebody for three years and then give them away for a six pick. It's It's baffling. It's baffling. Um, I guess getting out of it before he played those two years, I don't know how much they got to eat and cap or or how that deal plays out or if the Broncos just take it all on. But let's tell, let me tell you something. The Broncos and the Panthers are two totally different teams. The Broncos have real-life weapons. Judy, shout out Judy. Uh, I know um, their star receiver, he tore his ACL last year, so hopefully he comes back. Uh, also got... Uh, uh, I want to say our motherfucking Pontiac hopeful uh, went to Penn State. Uh, what's dog name? Man, KJ Hamler. KJ Hamler. Shout out dog. Man, we got a lot. The Broncos is a different team than what Carolina is. And brief, we've seen Bridgewater got that three-year deal because of the things that he did in New Orleans. And we know New Orleans had motherfucking talent there when he was there, when he came in for Drew Brees. Uh, so I look forward to seeing what Bridgewater does with Denver, man. I I think it's a good pick, and I think that um, yeah, I I I look forward to what they doing out there in Denver. Um, Lance Jones and, and Fields. This is this is the big three of the goddamn draft. Niggas is losing their jobs over who picks who out of these three niggas. Niggas is really losing jobs. I can promise you, whoever picks, you know, picks uh, uh, Mac Jones and Justin Fields ends up being a Hall of Fame quarterback. Whoever picks up Justin Fields and, 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 and Trey Lance ends up being a Hall of Fame and Mac Jones ends up being a Hall of Fame quarterback. Niggas is getting fired. It's the same thing that we seen with when Chicago thought that motherfucking Mitchell Trubisky was the nigga, even though Patrick Mahomes and Deshaun Watson is sitting there looking them niggas Right in the face. I mean, you got to think. Them niggas traded up a pick, mortgaged what they had down the line to pick up a nigga that nobody wanted. And we've seen now Patrick Mahomes, Super Bowl MVP, uh, regular season MVP, went to the Super Bowl last year. Deshaun Watson, outside of what we got, what he got going on right now, um, we I arguably was the best quarterback in the NFL on, and played on the worst team. So one of these guys or two of these guys – all three of these guys is changing lives and somebody, some GM, some coach, some president. It's a lot of motherfuckers that's riding on this. And I'm going to tell you like this. If Justin Fields dropped down the, uh, the Lions pick, hey, Lions, you better stop bullshitting. You better stop bullshitting. I seen what you did. I know that you restructured golf contracts. So the fuck what? If, he, if the motherfucker there, you take him. Because we get rid of golf ass and let and let Doggy Bone come in in two years, and now we got a, we got another franchise quarterback. So, hey, we'll see what happens in, with the big three. Um, Mayweather versus Logan Paul, June six. 
They calling this a, 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 a whatever, a whatever the fuck, a money grab. Uh, uh, I don't even know what is going on here. Logan Paul lost to a, a goddamn nigga that, was a, that is a YouTube star already. I do know that. But one thing that I also know is how fitting would America love to have two white boys, two white brothers like the Klitschko brothers? These two white boys is trying to take on world. They trying to be world dominators right now. I mean, listen, Jake Paul keep winning. If Logan Paul somehow does the unthinkable, knocks 44-year-old ass goddamn Floyd Mayweather out the ring or some shit, I'm, all hell is going to break loose. White boy summer is in full effect. Chetty Hanks already said it. He said, nigga, Jack Harlow, motherfucking John B, and Chetty Hanks is the, and, and now you just add Logan and Jake, and now you got the goddamn starting five. The starting five of the white boy summer. We sliding into June, and Chetty is motherfucking calling nigga game. Nigga, goddamn. Listen, Mayweather, unfortunately, I get it. $20 million regardless is $20 million. But just like how they was doing Nate, how they said, man, the whole black, the whole black is on your back. Mayweather, you didn't have to do this for us no more. You, you, you got enough things off camera to worry about. You got, man, you got a dude that, man, come on, man. You ain't got to worry about fighting these people. Let that shit be. A.B. signing back with the Bucks, as if we didn't already know. Whatever going down in Tampa Bay... Niggas act as if when, when Tom was in New England that, that you know, oh, them niggas over there cheating. Let me tell you something. When great whites link up, cheating is happening. Nigga, if you watch Exterminate All the Brutes on goddamn HBO Max, you'll see. Ain't nothing but white people linking up and fucking shit up. Bruce Arians ain't, it's nothing. It's like when, nigga, when the Infinity Stones collide, nigga. Bruce Arians just waiting for a nigga like motherfucker Tom Brady. You remember when he had Peyton, man? Come on, man. LSU is getting cooked, and niggas not really talking about that shit. Les Miles and Darius Geis, Jesus Christ. Uh, it's it's gonna LSU is in for a rude, rude, rude uh 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 penny to pay pretty soon. You'll be seeing that shit motherfucker roll out on TV, and if you ha because it ain't been a whole enough coverage of what's really taking place over in that motherfucker. Um, where is outside the lines? Where in the fuck is outside the lines? Bob Levy, Steph Curry, crazy month. Oh man, listen. Y'all niggas know, everybody just said it, greatest shooter of all time, you know, right now, I think game and a half back of uh, uh, being in the AFC, uh, I know now, you know, 7 through 10 playing, but the reality of it is, is that them niggas just got popped twice recently by 40 plus, like, what? I think that niggas went on a 30 to 8 run last, a uh, couple of nights ago when they played against the Mavs, them niggas suck. I get it. Steph, Steph keep yanking and, and being the player that he is, but do we really want to see them just make it to the offs just to get swept 4-0? Or, you know, but the, the magic can possibly happen and they take out a one seed in the we believe type way. Well, you know how Draymond get down. Um, before we get out of here, another nigga been going crazy. Chris Paul knocks off the Knicks, knocks, out, knocks them off of their uh, hot nine-game winning streak. Chris Paul is out here playing real. He's making niggas fall. Fuck you, Blake Griffin. He, I, if he could dunk on somebody, I promise you, that's what's coming next. But this has been another episode of The Greatest, the dopest, the wisest, the smartest. Sports commentary in under 10 minutes. See you next time.